Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to walk through how to create field generation prompt template in Salesforce. We are going to add this template to the case object on the field called quick summary. Before we begin, let us understand the purpose of this type of template. Field generation prompt template automatically populates the field on the lightning record pages. It can be used for instance in filling out the summary or description. This saves time and ensures consistency and you don't have to manually enter the details. Creating a field generation prompt template involves the following steps. We create a field, that is make sure the field you want to populate is there on the object. If not, we have to create a new one. Create the prompt template. Configure dynamic forms to use the template. Connect the template with the field and test the template. Let us see if the field we are talking about exists on the case object. From setup, go to object manager, in the quick find box, enter case, click on case, fields and relationships and check if the field quick summary exists. Yes, it's there on the case object. It is important to remember that the data types supported by field generation prompt template are any of the text data types and it cannot be read only. Field generation prompt templates are not compatible with read only field. If the field does not exist on the case object, you will have to create a new custom field. Next step is to create the prompt template. While we are still in setup in the quick find box, enter prompt builder, click on prompt builder, new prompt template. The template type is field generation, name let us keep it simple case summary template, description. Summarizes the case. The object is case and the field is quick summary. Click on next. The prompt template workspace is where you actually write your instructions. To save time, I'm going to use the text I have already created and you can pause type along. So it says that summarize this case in short and use the following data to generate the case summary. All these are the placeholders which we want to replace with the merge fields. Now let's do that. Contact name in the resource block, click on case, contact ID and full name. Account name is again case, account ID and account name. Case number, the case object, case number. And lastly, the description. Now we are going to change the template property. So in the configuration section on the right, click on the model type. It is standard. The model we are using is OpenAI GPT-4. And that's it. Click on save and activate the template. Now we'll see how this prompt template looks with the real record in the preview section here. Let us select a related record. We'll find a case which we are going to use. Cases. Yes, I'm going to use this one. So enter the case record. Language is English. Click on preview. Now resolution is same as the prompt template. So instead of merge fields, it provides the actual Salesforce data from the record. So whatever we have written here at the top, it's the same. But the merge fields, you'll see they are replaced by the actual data. Contact name is Stella, origin, case origin is web, priority is low, and so on. Now response is what we expect in the quick summary field. Case number this and this pertains to Stella Pavlova from this is the account name. Make sure you go through this. If you want a different response, make changes in the instructions. Again, you will have to save and activate the template. I like the response that it generated. So we are going to keep this. The next step is to add the prompt template to the lightning record page. From the setup, go to edit page. Now, If you see here, there is a field called quick summary. Now, if this field is not present on the lightning record page, you will have to add the field. In order to use this template, we have to upgrade it to dynamic forms. So upgrade, click on upgrade now. Next. It is a case layout. Click finish. Now let us see if quick summary field is there. This is here. 
This is the quick summary field. Click on quick summary and now we have to assign the prompt template to this field. On the right hand side there is Einstein Generative AI and you can select a template here. Our template was called case summary template. Select it and now you can see that this has changed. There is a small symbol here, little AI symbol. We'll save the page and activate it. This is already activated as org default. Click on close, go back to go to the case record. This is the quick summary field. We notice it has a pencil icon that is to edit, but looks a bit different than the other pencil symbols here. There's a little sparkle or star symbol here. Click on this. And here we can see that Salesforce generated the response based on the prompt template. So we'll go ahead and read this case number so and so involve, involves Stella from this account. The case which originated from web has a low priority status. So I think it has followed the instructions we have given. This response is same as we have seen in the prompt builder. If you want, click on use and it will take this information and use it in the quick summary field. If you don't like the response, we can ask Salesforce to generate a new one. I'm going to go ahead and use the generated response. We see that the information is now on the quick summary field. Go ahead and click on save. As you can see, field generation prompt template enables users to populate a field with the summary or description created by LLM. Remember, you will need to migrate the lightning record pages to dynamic forms. So that's what I have for this video. I hope you find it helpful. Thank you for watching.